Attention, Galsa Command. This is Endeavour to Inspire. The voice that rang through the Galactic Security Council chamber had a very different tone than what the captain of that particular vessel usually presented. One of the counsellors leaned over towards his neighbour. What is that tone? The cute gelatinous alien whispered to the tiny biped that held a surprisingly calm demeanour considering the three metre cube of acidic digestion was at an angle with a friend to topple over and engulf it. Fear, the human counsellor answered, with his cold gaze firmly focused on the hologram sound waves used to visualise the recorded transmission in the centre of the room. We are currently transmitting from the Denoba system where a previously undetected station has opened fire. Long range weaponry has been forcibly disabled and our point defence capabilities are strained to their maximum capacity. The transmission continued. Initial scans have revealed a multitude of cross species technologies and preliminary analysis has a high likelihood of this being a pirate station. We have suffered heavy casualties and are venting atmosphere from several decks. Our FTL capacity is gone and what is it, Lieutenant? I'm recording a transmission to the Council. The extended pause in the recording caused a large number of the counsellors to shift uncomfortably in their seats. The human counsellor merely leaned forwards and placed his elbows on the table's surface in front of it, resting his chin on a clenched right hand. He is doing what? I've never heard of that protocol. No, I will not relay a message from a grade 2 engineer to the council. The fist under the human counsellor's chin opened out to be a palm that gently massaged the eyelids of the human with its thumb and ring finger before flowing out to support the dripping head of the counsellor as a loud sigh escaped the human female. Pause playback. The first of the chancellor stopped the recording. Is the human representative functional? Amy raised her head and saw that every counsellor in the chamber, all 370 of them, were observing her. Yes, first chancellor, I am functional. We recognise that the Endeavour to Inspire has a human crew member as your first contribution to the Galsec fleet, but rest assured that we will do anything in our... Just continue the recording, First Chancellor. We will handle the politics after we have the full picture, please. Amy gestured towards the projector. The Chancellor nodded solemnly. A valid point, Counselor, it said. Quickly followed by, resume playback. What? He is going to do what? Eleven? Why should I be versing some obscure Earth literature? Well, stop him then. The recording cut off. The council room was very quiet and slowly that number of eyes that focused on Amy grew until the point where she definitely knew that she was the only one that wasn't staring at her. Counselor? The first chancellor called for her attention. I feel that you know something we don't. I do. Amy rose from her seat. The human crew member on Endeavour to Inspire is a grade 2 engineer. To be more precise, he is a male grade 2 technical engineer who has spent 9 months being bored in his workshop. She sighed audibly. When the Endeavour lost its offensive capabilities, he evoked a human emergency protocol, codenamed HMB. Amy tried her best to remain focused. This protocol has been established as the primary reason females have longer lifespans than the males of our species. That statement made every counsellor twitch uncomfortably in their seats. It has, however, also proven itself as the primary logic behind our most successful endeavours, Amy explained. Like hunting, fire, aviation, astrogation and FTL. Did you not achieve astrogation by placing a human on top of a pile of explosives? I believe I watched a human comedy about that, a counsellor from the other side of the chamber asked. A documentary, and yes, we did put a human male on a large canister of explosives to break orbit. Amy sighed. That seems unnecessarily reckless, the counsellor replied with a grin that froze when Amy replied, we also achieved FDL by increasing the amount of explosives to the point where reality gave up. The room went silent, as a polite knock on the entry broke the conversation. Enter. The first chancellor was not used to the very human gesture of knocking on the door. One of Amy's aides entered the room. Dark nodded a silent apology to the counsellors, and made an effort to sneak around to her side handing her a tablet, and then sprinted back to the door and closed it behind them. Amy looked at the tablet and then at the First Chancellor. When did the Council receive the communication from the Endeavour to Inspire? Three hours ago, the earlier replied. Why? My office has just received this message. She waved the tablet and gestured towards the projector. May I? If it holds relevance, the First Chancellor replied. Amy connected the tablet remotely and pressed play. The hologram shifted to project the face of a human male. Right, um, engineer second grade. Why do I even bother? Hi Amy, it's me, Mac. 
The human smart has broke every communication regulative in existence. I think the captain is pretty pissed at the moment, so I figured I'd send this message to you before it finds me. We flew directly into a system that had produced an exorbitant number of wrecks to find out why ships are getting damaged. The male physically gestured the air quotes. So don't ask us a blind jump into a potentially hostile system and lo and behold, we get shot at. What a surprise. Mac didn't look the least bit surprised as he continued. The pirates knew what they were doing, targeting our weapons and FTL propulsion first. Then they simply peppered us with light ordnance in order to overwhelm the point defence. So I invoked protocol HMB-11. The first chancellor paused the playback. The engineer bypassed the chain of command? It shook the limb that occupied his eyes angrily. Amy wasn't paying attention. She was leafing through a digital version of the HMB protocol curves and stopped with a shocked expression on her face, with her mouth agape. She looked up at the counsellors and shifted her eyes slowly to meet the gaze of the first chancellor. I believe we should dispatch a rescue ship to collect the crew of the Endeavour, she said slowly, as she regained control of her facial features. What makes you think they're still alive? The glob on her right asked out loud. She pressed the play icon on her screen. I rigged the engine section for remote operation and disconnected the FTL compartment, aimed it at the station and kitted it into Terran escape velocity. We're dead in the water, but still kicking. The projected face snapped to one side as a concerned expression washed over it. Shit, gotta go, love you sis. It bid as a farewell before the recording ended. Amy looked at her galactic colleagues with a wide grin on her face. Then she slowly turned to look at the gelatinous counsellor on her right. Everything is airdroppable. Once, she smiled politely.